future. Unexplained photographs have been in circulation long before the rise of Photoshop, the internet and digital cameras, and even with the modern technology picture researchers have at their fingertips, many have never been debunked. From mysterious snaps that appear to confirm the existence of alien life to photos of apparent supernatural phenomena, these images have been causing a stir with conspiracy theorists since film was first developed. They're all bollocks, of course. I'm not gonna BS you guys here. They might be unexplainable to us, but they do have an explanation. Anyway, spooky is cool, and this was assigned to me, so let's get on with it. I'm Ben from Wad Culture, and here are 10 mysterious photos that nobody can explain. Number 10. The Black Knight Satellite During an American space shuttle mission to the International Space Station in 1998, this photo of a strange black object was captured outside of the Earth's atmosphere, and the conspiracy theorists loved it. NASA's best explanation for the phenomenon is that it's a piece of space debris, but not everyone is satisfied with the official party line. UFO enthusiasts swear the dark mass is alien in origin and have christened it the Black Knight Satellite and believe it's been orbiting the Earth for 13,000 years. Renowned space journalist James Oberg has also weighed in on the mystery, claiming the object NASA photographed is in fact a thermal blanket that was lost during an EVA mission by Jerry L. Ross and James H. Newman. So there. Number 9. A Giant Mummified Finger During a trip to Egypt in 1985, Swiss archaeologist Gregor Spori uncovered possible evidence that giants once coexisted with mankind. Well, sort of. In the land of the pyramid, Spori met up with a grave robber who presented him with something wholly unexpected, a mummified finger measuring 15 inches. The owner of such a whopping digit would have to be at least 12 feet tall. Some claimed hoax, but the photograph was published by a credible source and nobody was able to conclusively debunk it. Archaeologists have never dug up any other remains to support claims that giants once walked amongst the Egyptians, but this photo drove the Tin Hat Brigade crazy anyway. Number 8. The Hook Island Sea Monster Some have claimed it's an elaborate photo editing job, others a shoal of fish, but many live in hope that the image captured on Hook Island in Queensland is proof that sea monsters exist. Shot in 1964, the infamous photograph seems to show a swirling black mass beneath the water, which many have likened to a gigantic tadpole. The photo became an instant hit in cryptozoology circles, and over the years, evidence for and against its authenticity has presented itself. The photographer has never admitted to staging it, and while you find the hoax school of thought has the most subscribers, only the brave swim at Stonehaven Bay these days. Not really though, that was just for spooky effect, it's clearly a bin bag. Number 7. The Skunk Ape The United States National Park Service considers the skunk ape to be a hoax, an urban legend dreamed up by Bigfoot fanboys, but photographic evidence to the contrary may have surfaced in the year 2000. An anonymous woman sent images of what appears to be an ape-like creature to the Sarasota County Sheriff's Department, along with a note explaining that the animal had appeared in her backyard for several nights running. The woman was convinced the beast was an escaped orangutan, while skeptics believe it's a bear in the picture. The conspiracy theorists, however, are certain that this was the skunk ape, a foul-smelling simian creature that was sighted numerous times in the 60s. And 70s. Number 6. Hestalen Lights Strange light phenomena have been reported at the Hestalen Valley in Norway since the 1940s. Multicoloured illuminations standing or floating about ground level. The lights have been a big hit with tourists in Scandinavia, especially between 81 and 84, when activity was at its peak, as during this three year period, the spectacle occurred more than 20 times per week. Despite the masses of pictorial evidence, scientists and researchers have failed to settle on an unequivocal explanation for the illumination. Some believe it's caused by a cloud of ions and electrons, but further study is needed. Could it be aliens? No. Number 5. Brown Lady of Raynham Hall Non-believers say it's no more than a double exposure, but others will tell you the infamous photo taken at Raynham Hall in 1936 is proof that ghosts are real. During a routine photo shoot for Country Life magazine, a photographer and his assistant snapped a fairly unremarkable staircase, only to find what appears to be an eerie spectral presence in the picture once it had been developed. When the image was published, it caught the attention of paranormal researcher Harry Price, who wasted his life and vouched for its authenticity after interviewing the photographer. Speculation has swelled since, but in case you're curious, the ghost in question is said to be the Brown Lady of Raynham Hall, except it's not because it can't be. Number 4. The Solway Firth Spaceman 
When Jim Templeton was out walking in Solway Firth in Cumbria in 1964, he took a photo of his young daughter in a meadow, but when the film was developed, he spotted something that shouldn't be there. What looks like an astronaut can be seen looming over Jim's daughter, but the photographer has always been adamant that there was nobody else in frame. Kodak even vouched for the authenticity of the image. At the time, the so-called Solway Firth Spaceman has become one of the most famous unexplained photographs on the internet over the years, but guess what? It's definitely a woman with her back facing the camera. Maybe Jim's wife, right? You remember you have a wife, Jim. Come on now. Number 3. The Ghost of Freddie Jackson In 1919, an air mechanic named Freddie Jackson is said to have been killed in a freak accident involving an airplane propeller. Two days later, on the morning of his funeral, his squadron lined up for a group photograph, which they don't tend to do on the day of a funeral, so that's clear. That's a red flag. When the film was developed, there, in the back, was Freddie, peering out behind one of his comrades. Although the entire squad agreed the ghostly figure in the picture was Freddie, modern-day research has failed to prove whether the mechanic even existed. There's also no evidence this was a deliberate hoax staged by superstitious airmen, so perhaps poor record-keeping is the only reason Freddy doesn't seem to exist on paper, otherwise known as NONSENSE! Number 2. Cooper Family Photo Spooky boy incoming. Hold on to something. When the Coopers moved into their new house in Texas sometime in the 1950s, they took a family photo in the dining room to mark the occasion. When the picture was developed, a chilling image turned up in the left of the frame. What appears to be a floating body falling through the ceiling. What? This picture has caused a stir online in recent years, with many conspiracy theorists claiming it could be the ghost of one of the house's previous occupants, but the photo's origin is murky. There's no record of it existing prior to 2013 when it was first posted online, although obviously it looks older than that. The presence of symmetrical vignetting in the corners has led many to believe it's a fabrication knocked up on Photoshop, but nobody has ever taken credit for it. Number 1. Warstead Church Ghost Peter Berthelow visited Warstead Church in North Norfolk in 1975 and took a lovely photo of his lovely wife sat on some lovely pews lost in lovely, quiet, lovely prayer. Lovely. Although the image was captured on hallowed ground, something potentially unnatural turned up in the frame. Parked up behind Peter's wife Diane was a ghostly figure engulfed in white and seemingly dressed in old-fashioned clothes. When the couple made their way back to the church to quiz the local vicar about their discovery, they were told a benevolent ghost resided on the premises, the spirit of a deceased healer the locals have come to refer to as the White Lady. Oh, what bollocks! There have since been numerous sightings, and Warstead's local pub is even named after her. But whether Peter's original photo is the result of anything more than lens flare or a double exposure has never been proven. Bullsh**, mate. That's bullsh**. It's clearly it's tourism. That's what they want. If the pub's named it, it's tourism. Idiots. Who do they think? We're not that stu- are you that stupid? Come on. And that's our list. Make sure you subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this, and don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. I'm Ben from What Culture, and thanks for watching. Right, okay, I've been told I need to stand here for 18 seconds and tell you to, uh, to go and watch other videos, so uh, here are some other videos. That's 10 seconds. Here are some channels. 13. Uh, people that were responsible for this video are below here. Um, bye.